Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Learn now from your learning partner. Today, we're going to learn what is direct query in Power BI and how to use it, so please watch the complete video so that you don't miss out on your learning. In the previous video, we learned about time intelligence functions in Power BI. If you have not watched that video, then click on the above link. If you're new to Power BI, don't worry, we have created a complete watch list that will guide you step by step, where we explain everything you need to know. Direct Query is a data connectivity mode in Power BI that allows you to connect to a data source in real time, without importing any data into Power BI. With Direct Query, you can create a report that is always up to date with the latest data in your data source. Direct Query is particularly useful for organizations that need to monitor and analyze data in real time. One of the data sources that you can use a direct query on is a Power BI data set in order to use a Power BI data set for a direct query, that data set needs to be published to the service. So we're going to go ahead and publish this data set to the service. We did this in our previous videos, and now in upcoming videos we are exploring more about Power BI services. But in the meantime, the last button on the home tab of the ribbon is published. Go ahead and click on it to start the process so we all have in common a workspace named My Workspace. We will use that workspace. It may take a few moments to publish this as this is a fairly large data set. When it's done publishing, you'll get the success check mark and you can get to the service by clicking the link that says, Open Test Sample.pix in Power BI. Go ahead and click the link. It opens the report, which is all of the pages that are in our report view on a desktop. We want to navigate to the workspace where we sent this data. So on the left side of your screen, almost toward the bottom, you're going to hover over the workspaces icon and select it. We're going to click on My Workspace, and you'll notice that it puts the report, which is what we were just looking at, as well as the dataset, the underlying data in the service. Because the data set is now in the service, we'll be able to use Direct Query in a new instance of Power BI Desktop. I've switched back over to the desktop and we're going to click on Got It. On the Publishing, the Power BI screen, we want to access Direct Query from a new Power BI file. So we're going to go up to the File tab of the ribbon and select New on the left-hand side to start a new instance of Desktop. When it opens, go ahead and close the splash screen. Before we access our Power BI data set that we published, we just want you to know that the data sources that are supported with Direct Query, one of them is SQL Server, is a data source that's supported by Direct Query on the Home tab of the ribbon in the data group. Go ahead and click on SQL Server and you'll notice that it has a Data Connectivity Mode section. It defaults to Import. So if you want to use a Direct Query to connect to SQL Server data, you would have to use the Option button for Direct Query. We're going to go ahead and cancel that dialog. When you're bringing in from a Power BI data dataset, it automatically is in Direct Query mode, so you won't have to make a choice like you would have for SQL Server. So on the Home tab of the ribbon, we're going to go ahead and click on the Data Hub and then Power BI Datasets, and it's only going to show you the datasets that are published to the. We're going to click on a test sample, and then the Create button in the lower right corner. On the right side, you still have your field pane. If you expand the Sales table, you'll see all of the fields. But what I want you to notice is on the left-hand side, on the left side, you no longer have a data view. You just have your report view, which is default, and you have a modeling view. There is no data view because it didn't actually bring in any data from the underlying source. This was one of the direct queries in Power BI. In conclusion, Direct Query is a powerful feature in Power BI that allows you to connect to a data source in real time and visualize the data instantly. With Direct Query, you can create a report that is always up to date with the latest data in your data source. I hope this video has helped you understand what Direct Query is, how it works, and how you can use it in your Power BI reports. Thank you for watching.